on April 1st, the Wisconsin Department of Health Services shared some important short-term adjustments to Medicaid and Badger Care Plus programs in the state of Wisconsin, impacting renewals, work requirements, and premiums for select populations. This was a stakeholders call coming out of the Department of Health Services. These are bi-weekly stakeholder calls that provide updates on eligibility policy in the state of Wisconsin for programs like Medicaid, Batch Care Plus, and similar public benefits programs. Now, the stakeholder call that was held on April 1st was in response to some changes because of coronavirus. And let's go through each of those categories briefly. First, we're talking about changes that were presented on a temporary basis for Medicaid and Badger Care Plus renewals. The statement coming out of this stakeholder call from the Department of Health Services is that the March, April, and May Medicaid renewals will be pushed back three months to June, July, and August. So if you had a Badger Care Plus renewal that was scheduled to happen April 1st, you are now scheduled to have a renewal July 1st. The other renewal and reports that were addressed was in the food share program. Six month reports originally due in March, April and May will be pushed back three months as well, at least to start. There may be future changes coming, but at least for now, those six month reports, instead of being due in March, April, May, will now be again due in June, July and August. Work requirements. There are some programs that require work in the state of Wisconsin. The first is the Medicaid Assistance Purchase Plan for someone that has a disability or disabling condition that has some ability to work. The Medicaid Assistance Purchase Plan may be appropriate for them, but it does require that you prove the work that you're doing. Well, in this age of coronavirus, when so many people are facing unemployment or lost hours, the Medicaid Assistance Purchase Plan is temporarily lifting that requirement to prove your work. Similarly, some food share programs require work and that is being exempted at least temporarily to start as well. Now we mentioned premiums might be changing. Short term premium change are only for two populations. Badger Care Plus premiums for children are temporarily suspended and MAP, that Medicaid Assistance Purchase Plan, those premiums are temporarily suspended as well. Now, this isn't the end of the story. There are additional changes that Wisconsin would like to get approval for. They are submitting some Section 1135, Section 1915C, Appendix K, waiver requests and permission to get enhanced um, federal match, that FMAP proposal. But Wisconsin needs its legislature to approve those changes before those waivers and changes can be requested from the federal government. Should that happen, should all of that happen, there could be enhanced changes on longer term changes to things we just talked about, to uh, renewals and verifications and premiums and work requirements. So a lot could change very quickly. We will keep you posted as that happens. If you would like information on those stakeholder calls that we mentioned where this information came out upon April 1st, we provide the link in the description below. It is bi-weekly. The next one is coming up in the middle of April. You can tune in to learn more about some of the programs and policies in Medicaid impacting people all across Wisconsin.